Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second edition of the Me vs. CPU's tournament, a tournament where I basically play 10 games with a certain amount of characters, in this case 21 characters, and I basically determine how well I did with a point system where you get points depending on how many stocks you win by, how much damage you deal, and a few other things like zero to deaths. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the highlights from this. And I'm going to tell you all right now, I did a terrible job editing this. This could definitely be way shorter than it actually is. But, you know, that that's just something I need to actually take in and just use for the next time, you know. Whenever you make a mistake or something like this, when it comes to, like, YouTube and just making a video in general... That, that's honestly just the type of mindset you've got to have, you know. But anyways, with that being said, we got our Falco right here. And it's looking like, it's looking like we're really just going to go down there and spike him. See, I, I, I'm good at predicting this stuff. I'm actually capping, bro. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I literally just made this entire, like, all of these montages. I literally made them today. Like, I mean it. Literally today. So, I know exactly what happens just about in all of these clips. <laughs> but, anyways, with that being said, if you go on to enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like on it. And also, please hit that subscribe button. We did recently hit 200 subscribers, and the next goal is 500, and that's going to be kind of tough to get to. You know, it's going to take a bit, but I know we can definitely do it, so if you could, please hit that subscribe button. That was a fucking awesome up bro. Awesome up right there. I think this is stupid, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain at all. I'm not going to complain about how stupid that is, but, you know, I swear that shield break almost looked as if we expected it to happen. Like, that was one of those shield breaks where it literally looked like I was trying to shield break them. Already, we got some of that Sephiroth. Dang. Just, that's all I got to say is dang, bro. Literally just dang. Look at how much damage we dealt to the Charizard. Like, before we died. That was crazy. That's kind of tough, because they jumped. They barely even got hit by that. If they were like Squirtle or something, I feel like they would have actually just not been hit. Let's see what we got going on here. We got... Some K rule gameplay. We almost killed him already at like 80. We're gonna go down there. Yep, that, that that's a good one. That that that's a good one right there. Already coming out with sort of a piranha plant combo. I believe that's actually true. Right, we racked on a little bit of damage there. This game is still pretty close. That was actually pretty cool, you know, getting the Patui and basically just hitting it into the stage to have it hit the player. Well, in this case, CPU. That's actually a pretty good strat. So here I'm basically going to hit the spike. And then Peach's um, up B, her umbrella, is going to hit me, but we're going to actually tech. Honestly, I have a feeling that we might have still lived if we didn't tech, but, you know, we teched. And we take those. All day, every day. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I've gotten better at teching, like, I, I, like, it doesn't even matter at this point. Like, I can play any character. Like, I randomly was playing a match with me, Gunner, because one of my friends challenged me to get good with me, Gunner, which I, I already just don't like it that entire experience so far like me gunner is honestly not too bad like the me gunner that i have is literally like 
got um Samus's charge shot along with like I don't even know. Me Gunner literally just feels like Samus, but like also like this is gonna sound dumb, but me gunner actually just feels like not exactly Diddy Kong, but like a character similar to Diddy Kong maybe. And like Samus. That's my me gunner. I don't know. Am I just dumb right now? Should I be recording videos past midnight ever? Is it worth it? Is it worth it in the end? Comment down below. Anyways, we got some Sora gameplay, which I'm happy it's over because I don't care for Sora at all. Sora sucks. Luigi also kind of sucks too, but I don't know. It's one of those characters where it's super fucking dumb to go against, but at the same time, playing the character is fun. <sighs> wow, we got a misfire just now. That that is pretty clutch. That, that that's not gonna lie. That that's pretty clutch. All right, we got some Bowser. Bowser going out there. I think we would live still. That's the best part. Hmm. I'm yawning. Am I yawning because I'm tired and it's getting super late? Or am I yawning because I'm just that bored watching my own clips? I really hope it's the first option, but who knows? Can't really get my hopes up too much. Anyways, I've actually got a little bit of a story for you guys. So, on Discord, there's this bot that basically, like, tells you when you level up, right? And, basically, I added the bot, and it did not respond at all. So, I started shit-talking the bot. And then, after that, my friend, Tylee, started shit-talking the bot as well. And then, after that, we, we just started doing some stupid stuff. That still involves shit talking the bot. It was hilarious. And then I went inside a spam channel and I have started a petition to get the bot completely just gotten rid of, like within the server. So that's great. Super amazing. I, I honestly would be very shocked if my friend Davon decides to get rid of the um, bot, but. It would be hilarious. It would actually be hilarious. So who knows, you might hear a part two from that. I hope we see a part two of that. I'm wondering what I love about DK. The fact that you can spike at 37 and you're just dead every time. Every time. There is no making it back from that. <sighs> Alrighty, now we've got some of that Ike gameplay. Comment down below your favorite Ike skin, because I feel like some of them are hits and others are misses. You know, hit or miss. This is, that was personally my favorite, the blue one. But there's some that are very good, actually, and then some that are just bad. Anyways, we got some of that Jiggly Puff gameplay right now. And... We're just taking this Game & Watch on a ride. We're taking them on a trip, you know, helping them explore outer space right here. You know, he said he liked it. He said it wasn't that bad, so I'll take that, I guess, as a win. I'm telling y'all, the combo that we hit on this final stock, it's definitely, like, I seriously doubt it. Like, there's no way in the world it's true. But just the combo that we do hit on this final stock is awesome. I talk about how good I am at teching, but in reality, I only can tech if I know that I'm about to get hit. That, that's when most of the techs happen. But as you can see, that combo was awesome. I, I didn't expect Min Min's arm to randomly just, you know, come at me like that. 
so that's my excuse there, okay? That is 100% going to be the thing I use as my excuse. And we're making some moves with um, Dark Samus right now. Pretty good, pretty good. Spike on stage into literally nothing, into literally nothing, into you're in disadvantage state now, into the Ryu sucks, into you win. Wow, that was a good one right there. Dang, the Luigi spike. Kirby tried to spike. We didn't tech. We air dodged and won the game. That was a chaotic ending right there. I really thought I was going to lose. But we didn't. Just barely. Just barely we didn't lose. Works every time. Every time, bro. Every time. Imagine literally hitting that spike and thinking like, Oh my god, I am cracked. And then Yoshi's just like, No. You don't get spike. You don't get clip. And, and then his jump, I figured it out right there, and I also heard it on a YouTube video. Apparently, Yoshi's flutter can jump for a certain amount of time, has super armor. What kind of BS is that, bro? It doesn't need super armor. It just don't need super armor, bro. That That's all I gotta say. You do not need super armor on that move. I didn't figure it out until then that apparently your cannonball with Bowser Jr. will start to fall. It will start to literally fall after a while, and it's just gonna go and hit this Richter. And hit him hard, bro. I kind of hate the fact that the music just can stopped right there. Right when I stopped talking. So it, it's like, it, it's beyond awkward silence. That, that's like more of an awkward silence. That's like, I don't even know, bro. But it's more of an awkward silence, and that's bad. We almost got him again somehow, bro. That would have been, oh my god. Oh, we get the tech at 146, bruh. I'm telling you, I'm getting good at these techs. And it's at them big, big percentages, too. You already know. But this is gonna help me in the long run. I can literally tell you right now, I, I, I just get all these miracle techs. You can ask my boy Travis. He will say the exact same thing. He is way better than me at this game. But there's one thing that I know I can beat him in. And that's teching. It's 100% teching. For some reason, he doesn't really tech. Like, I've seen him tech before, but that was like once or twice, honestly. And I know good and well if he can barely even tech, none of my other friends can tech. Because he's way better than me, so he's going to be way better than them, so... That, 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 that's just how that goes. Quick maps, bro. Quick maps. Alright, Banjo and Kazooie be big dead. But why not make them even more dead, bro? Like, can't you believe that Spike kills at, um, 6% or whatever? Comment down below, is this worth it? Yes or no? If you think about it, technically, I was at a higher percentage than Mega Man, so it wasn't too, too stupid. If I would've lost the match, it would've been stupid, but I think it's worth it in the end, bro. I, 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 I really think it was worth it. All right, we got some Sonic gameplay here. I said gameplay. Gameplay here. We're gonna go super high with the spring to go out and get Kirby. This is something that I just think is tough, bro. I love the fact that the CPUs just don't know how to tech if it's, like, down there. But if it's, like, right at the ledge, CPU techs every time. CPU techs at 170 on a move that probably shouldn't even be techable at 170. But, you know, we don't talk about that. And when you're the best part, imagine hitting a stage spike once on a level 9 CPU... 
Have you ever thought about doing it again? Have you ever thought about doing it twice? I know I didn't. But when I hit it there, boy was I excited. I can't believe that killed. I, I think that was honestly terrible DI from the CPU. And also, why is this another banjo? Nobody likes banjo except for the two people in the entire planet that play banjo. I will say though, I will give Banjo and Kazooie a teensy, most teensiest tiny bit of more respect because I did watch this tournament today, um, the Wanted tournament. It's like this tournament in France. I honestly want to say it's like a major in France because it seemed like there was a good bit of um, people. So I do want to say that it was a major that takes place in France because I've heard of the tournament before. I just didn't know it took place in France. But there was this Banjo-Kazooie player and honestly, they taught me a lot about what Banjo can do. Like I'm ever going to use it like myself. I can use it to outplay other Banjos, but for starters, you can literally bomb recovery with Banjo. And I was just like, wow, that was cool. Just like that spike, that was cool. And if you thought it was cool too, be sure to subscribe. But the thing that I just don't like about Banjo and Kazooie, bro, is literally like the fact that when I was watching, I was like, okay, you can do bomb recoveries. I was like, that's cool. But everything else in that entire match was literally just them spamming bomb and spamming egg and, and hitting this player and the player just could not do anything about it there was just nothing they could even do and and i felt bad i i i, I was just like no no all right we got some more luigi we're actually gonna punish for weird random up b speaking of weird random up b's have you ever heard of siskui bro that Dark Samus in, um, crap, Spain, right? Yeah, Spain. Bro, he's pretty good. But the thing that, honestly, I'm gonna talk about the Wanted Tournament still. You know, um, I think the most shocking thing was the fact that, A, the, um, finals, the grand finals was literally between two people I've never heard of before. Um, B, Gluttony who is literally supposed to be the best Wario in the world. Um, also, probably at least a top 30 player in the world. Apparently, got 17th. And that's kind of bad in my opinion, because for starters, France mostly is not as good as the US, I feel like. I feel like the US honestly it's like the best overall smash bros players i could be very biased for saying that but like i i especially say that because at least with japan i knew of more than two players beforehand like i already knew of ken i already knew of t i already knew of proto bonham that's definitely not how you say it at all you know I definitely knew of more um, players in Japan than I do France. You know, you got Zachary as well in Japan. Literally in France, I was just like, oh yeah, there's gluttony. And, and I'm, I'm gonna count this only to make it sound like I'm not completely stupid, but I do technically already know of um, Andres, um, the Terry player. I, I did hear his, of him once, like, literally ever, but I will give them that. But anyways, with Gluttony getting 17th, I was just like, damn. And then after that, um... I'm trying to think of, like, who else it was, because there was, like, another player that was projected to do super good, that just did not do good at all. But I do know that Siskui 
he did get third, which I thought was pretty good, considering Dark Samus was actually my first main on Ultimate. Technically, one of my only two mains. Like, when I actually decided to, like, go from being a complete noob to taking the game seriously enough to become decent at it, Dark Samus was my first ever, like, true main. Followed up by Sonic, and ever since I've played, like, a bunch of characters, but never considered them a main. But, but, I've had characters like Jigglypuff that have been secondaries, you know, and Piranha Plant, who's been considered my third best character at some point. But, basically what I'm trying to say, speaking of Joker, bro, let's talk about Emas, bro. Let's talk about Emas, alright? This Joker dude, honestly, in France, my man, he's the one that won the, um, tournament, the entire thing, right? And, you know, I could say that, I could spoil that, I can talk about that, because this video is going up a complete two days, maybe even three days, after the tournament is over. Wait, no, because if you think about it, the tournament had already happened, and then days later, a, a few days later, a couple of days later, it goes up on YouTube. It, 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 this video's going up a couple days after the video that went up for the tournament, you know, so. If you haven't figured out the results by now and you wanted to know them, that's just your fault, not mine. Anyways, um, let's talk about Emas now, sorry. Um, Emas, this man, Emas, right? I'll tell you right now, I've seen some good Jokers. He's definitely up there as one of the best Jokers worldwide, by far. You know, I do know of a, a, a good few Jokers. There's MK Leo if he decided to drop Byleth in Pyramithra. He would probably go back to Joker, honestly. Or Korn, who knows. He did make a video on Korn. He did make a video on Roy. Honestly, MK Leo could main any character. But I, but this is something that still I think about. I, I genuinely feel like MK Leo secretly has this one character that like he just sucks with. Like he's secretly just bad with his character, and it's like that's the only character. Like I feel like a lot of pros have at least one character that it's just like their weakness. You know, it's just for Kryptonite and like skill. It's just impossible for them to play them, right? Anyways, let me talk about Joker mains. Um, Zachary, you know, the Joker in Japan, he's super good. He ended up winning, um, what's it called? I I'm gonna say it completely wrong. Kagarabi or whatever the f their tournament is. Bro, he did win that. He was going chic for most of it, I think, though. Which was very interesting. Um, you've got Omega, who actually is this, um, Joker player in, um, Georgia. I recently, like, in the past, like, m less than a month, actually, he was in the Grand Finals for 404 Smash Night and almost beat Cola, so he's definitely got what it takes to be good. Um, you've also got... Crap, bro. I swear, I feel like there's other Joker players. I, 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 like, in my mind, I felt like I had, like, five people come to mind. But now I just can't think about it, you know? But let's talk about Emas. I'm telling you, this man, like, he's going up against this, um, Roy player who honestly just, he seemed like he was pretty much as good as Cola, just about. Like, I'd honestly consider him the second best Roy worldwide, this dude of Flo. But, my man is literally out here looking like Cola, and he's gonna, like, 3-0, um, Emas in Grands, and make a Grand Final reset, but then after that, Emas just turns on the gas and 
is literally over here, bro. He's literally over here just making these reads, you know? And, like, taking these games with dominating, like, two-stock and three-stock fashion. Like, literally just abusing Roy. Like, making Roy look stupid. Making people wish they never played Roy because of the fact that if you have a counter, you can literally just sit at ledge or go off stage and counter the recovery. And Roy can't do anything about it. Like, it's just super crazy how this man went from, like, losing and people were like, Oh wow, maybe he's not even gonna win this tournament, to all of a sudden, my man just turns on the gas and looks like one of the best players in the world. I honestly was shocked when I was watching the set, I was like, Sheesh! Alright, let's talk about my gameplay some. You know, I rambled on for like a full 10 minutes, I think, about this one tournament and accidentally went off topic numerous times. Let's talk about these matches now. Okay, so we got our Sonic here. We just need, honestly, like one more good hit. And apparently, of all things, I decided to choose Homing Attack for that. You know, how many Sonic mains actually go for Homing Attack? And... Six win, honestly, until literally just now, I did not know that King K. Rule could, like, or just any character could get rid of Pac-Man's, um, like, little tiny dot that he uses to recover, and then also spike him in, like, the same sequence. Dang, I did not even, like, think of the fact that we have two shield breaks in this YouTube video. Two shield breaks. Not one, but two. My feet are asleep. And... Duck Hunt is dead. Very dead. No way we get all three of these socks to be a spike. My god, my Piranha Plant, like, killed Duck Hunt that match. Completely just, like, killed the man. That's stupid. Sora is stupid. I'm gonna be happy for the day when I can't do anything jack squat with Sora. I'm gonna be happy for that day. Then after that, people are gonna come back to this, you know, and they're gonna see this, like, a full year from now, and they're gonna be like, oh wow. Nova Dude 316 goes from being Sonic main to Sora main, and all of a sudden is. I'm, I'm kidding. I don't even want to fucking think about that, bro. I don't even want to think about that. This is actually funny. I, I literally am in my house with Wi Fi on, and. All of a sudden, I'm going to get a message talking about how I'm almost out of data. And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, the family mobile, shut your stupid ass up. And that's exactly what I'm thinking, bro. Wanna hear what else that I'm thinking? That Incineroar's a heavy and died at 80 to my um side B. And that's kind of whack. Almost as whack as family mo- I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, I definitely have to check that out after this video is done. Alrighty, we got some of that Link gameplay. We're gonna hit Pikachu with the bomb and then go up there and, you know, go slash, slash. Boom. And we get a kill at, like, 30 because... Rage. Alright, this final kill, th th this isn't even, like, this is just stupidly good. Y'all, this is just hilarious. This is like peak comedy type of, um, stuff, you know? Because watch, he's not even dead. But then he dies. An even worse death. An even more painful death. Just like that. 
question is, would CPU have been able to get out of that or not? Because if you think about it, it did not give a kill screen for what had happened with me, you know, charging up my um, up smash. I think that's what it's called. It could be up tilt or whatever. I don't know. I honestly used to call um, all of my god damn richters not making it back ever again. What was I even talking about, bruh? You know that moment when you're just sitting here, like, not even knowing what you talked about because you see something cool like a sucking cuck, but no stage spike working out better than a stage spike? Bruh. Just the way that you can cheese characters with bad recoveries like Terry and stuff, I'm telling you, it is just so awesome. It is awesome. It's amazing. And I love it. I love that also. I love just countering Sephiroth's freaking, um, I call it Mega Blast. I know the name is not Mega Blast, but it's going to be called Mega Blast today, and nobody will argue with me about it. Also, don't you love these Falco spikes, bro? Don't you love them? They are kinda, not gonna lie, like... Super cool. They're so cool that you can combo. And at this point, it might as well be considered a true combo. To literally spike. With, um... Falco. But not once. How about twice? Let me just, like, down air. And I think to myself, hey, the other player, the opposing opponent, they're off stage now. What could I do? Let's down air again. Also, that Luigi, um, up me that y'all just saw, that was actually kind of hilarious, you know? It's like me just getting back onto the arena to fight and... I'm over here just like, yeah, you're dead. Also, can we talk about how my Bowser Jr. cannot die? Can we talk about how my Bowser Jr. cannot die? Can we talk about how my Bowser Jr. cannot die? Because it is a known fact. Is it proven? Only by me. But that's good enough for me. Can we also talk about, though, how stupidly broken Ike can be, but also stupidly how um, bad Ike can be? I'm dead right there. Imagine if we just miss Dr. Mario in Wii SD. Only other thing we could have hoped for there, like if we miss, is for Ike... To somehow get hit by a Dr. Mario up B and manage to make it back. Or just manage to not die before Dr. Mario does. Alright, so as you can see, we're kind of getting our ass kicked right now. But what better way to um, fix that problem by cheesing the shit out of Sheik? I'm waiting for the sleep. It's happening right here because they're going to roll in and that's going to be a rest and that's going to be a GG 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 GG. All right, Falco doses. God damn, I can't talk. Falco versus I don't even know what I said. It sounded like I said Falco doses. Falco versus Rosalana and Llama. Rosalana and Llama. Going up against the Falco, the birdie, goes tweet, tweet, you know, sending Rosalina up high, you know, I think she might like it there, considering she's the galaxy bitch from Mario, but sometimes you gotta take her back to Earth. Alright, up next we got some of that Pyramithrodurs' Toon Link, literally just that spike was cool, that's all that I wanted to show. 
Thank you for your time, Pyro Mifra, and we will see you probably in the next 10 minutes at least of this YouTube video. As you can see, this match has been going for a total of 30 seconds. A little tiny bit more than 30 seconds, and we are both at one stock. This match ended in less than a minute. Less than a minute is all that took. Less than a minute for there to be five stocks taken away. Distinguished. No, that's not. That's the wrong word. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. Okay? I'm tired. Let's not talk about that match. I, I hope that I was able to stall. You know? And y'all just straight up did not see how fucking badly my um, cloud did. In that match. That's the little blooper of this video. Is right there. That's all you get. Because we don't make that many mistakes like that, bro. It don't, it don't come often, bro. It, it, it doesn't happen every time. Nowhere close to every time. Because almost every time, we're over here getting ice climbers. And I'm just like, cool, three points for the CPU tournament. Because you know how I said that damage points are taken into um, factor? Apparently, you can damage um, Nana, the um, sister... And it will count towards your actual damage. It, well, not the actual damage, but it'll count as, like, the damage you do. So, I have games where I'll literally deal, like, 700 damage and, like, get a free stock or some crazy shit. And all of a sudden, it's just like, wow, look at me. I'm all of a sudden, at, like, getting a character 10 points for one match. I don't know when I ever did it. I know I do it to some point at some point against a Ryu, where I like suck in cup film, but I do it in the opposite direction. I don't know if that was the last CPU tournament. I don't know if it's this CPU tournament. I don't know if that's a future CPU tournament. Yes, there are going to be future CPU tournaments. And there are going to be future, like, actual CPU tournaments. Like, a real tournament with a real bracket. And real people going up against each other, it's going to happen. See, this is what I mean. I would want to, like, right there, I don't know what I was going for. I was probably going to just hit them again. Instead, I should have just countered. If I would have countered, I would have hit them again. They would have died even more. And I would have gotten exactly what I wanted, which was a better clip. But instead, we're just going to get hit. And they're gonna fall to an anticlimactic death. Kinda like Krom on every stock, pretty much. Every stock. Unless you just straight up spike him before he can kill himself. You gotta think about it. Characters like Krom, their recoveries are the type of recoveries where it's literally just like, huh, suicide's badass. Honestly, this match, we we got some good kills on that Ganondorf, but if y'all looked at how close that match actually was, you would realize my Rob did not do too, too good there. Bowser's feet just, like, have, like, a bait reservation with every CPU in this tournament right now. My Bowser is playing outstanding right now. Because they have big feet. Size 18 foot. Can't even buy shoes for Bowser in store. And I don't think anyone can buy King DDD another life, no matter what store you go to. Alright, did I mention... I already mentioned this. But... Have I told y'all that my Donkey Kong is hype? 
Because it is. Did I tell you yet that, um, heavyweights or just hype characters have a bigger advantage in this tournament because there's more of a chance to hit something cool with them? Therefore, I'm going to give them more points automatically. Same reason why at the start of this tournament, literally for the first five games, Donkey Kong was ranked number one. And also, have I mentioned the fact that a character like Sonic, I might critique harder than I would Ike because I play Sonic, like, all the time, considering he's my main. And then after that, Ike, for example, it's literally, like, the first time I've ever played the character. Don't you love hitting, like, the sours of the sour spots on that attack? You know, I got what I wanted, but did I really get what I wanted? Like, did I really get what I want? No, not really. I mean, I'm over here literally just trying to hit some cool raw rest on Mega Man, but Mega Man's just cringe, so I decided, you know what, first let me put him to sleep. I'm over here just trying to, like, hold my shield and wait for Mega Man to roll or something. My man's just gonna go pew, 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 pew. But he's not doing that forever. He can't do it forever. He can't do it when he's literally dying and falling straight down. Speaking of falling straight down, have you ever seen my K rule spike before? If you haven't, there you go. Honestly, now that I think about it, if you haven't seen my King K rule spike, that means that A, this is your first time watching, B, you literally just now started watching, or C, this is your first time watching and you literally skipped all the way to like 41 minutes into the video. So which one is it? Because my K rule will spike in every video it's in. Every video. That would have been a pretty cool kill, you know, if it spiked. But why not spike there if you don't spike there in min? Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Reflect. Reflect into dead. I don't think you can counter that with your stupid little reflector, Falco. I don't think you can at all. Only thing you can reflect is Spike Ball, but you can't reflect the pot. If I were you, next time you see the piranha plant, I'ma tell you right now. Pop off for the pot. That, that sounds actually stupid. That, that sounds like something that for some weird-ass reason, could be taken out of context. Pop off for the pot. <laughs> yeah, let me just never say that again. But that's something else you gotta take advice about. You know, I said this at the start of this video. I was talking about advice, right? Well, you know, sometimes there's moments with these montages where maybe... They're not going to be to my complete satisfaction. Maybe I make them too long. Maybe they're too short. That, that'll never happen because I love to somehow manage to make things way longer than they should be on here. But another thing I should honestly learn is what is cringy and what's not. And when to say it and when to not say it. Because to a certain extent, cringe works on social media. It works on the internet. Just not all the time let alone like half the time maybe half the time at most is cringe a good thing you might be wondering how i got that stock well basically rob side b you know the spitty thingy right that basically can reflect projectiles like king k rules cannon therefore when i did my side b i hit king k rules cannon and it just decided let me go ahead and go dead. I don't know why I snapped my fingers. Can you even hear this? That was a terrible ass snap. Comment down below. Okay, that was terrible. I can't end off on that. 
Okay. Comment down below, can you snap your fingers? Honestly, I think most people can actually snap their fingers, and most people learn to snap their fingers pretty quickly, actually. I honestly didn't learn how to snap my fingers until fourth grade, and I, I, I remember this. I remember this to an exact, um, like, not an exact day, but I do remember the exact location, so I'm literally in Walmart with my mom and my sister, you know, just doing typical stuff like buying groceries because it's literally right after school and my mom's just like, you know what, since I picked you up, I'm not about to drive all the way home and drop you off, you're coming with me. So I'm over here in Walmart just walking around and I'm talking to my sister, right, you know, she's a full like six years older than me just about. And I'm asking her, I'm like, how do you snap your fingers? Like, I could just never do it. And then I go to do it, and I actually snap my fingers. And I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that high-pitched voice. I guess, like, kind of, like, mimic, like, the fact that in this story, I'm a fourth grader. I don't know. I I'm going with that. I'm going with that as the answer. But... Yeah, I basically learned how to snap my fingers at my local Walmart. I bet everybody wanted to know that 46 minutes into this YouTube video, right? This match honestly pisses me off so much because basically when you think of Pyra, you think I got a kill screen. Meaning, you're dead. And if it's at literally... 100%, you think they're dead. But no, they're not. And then it's Pit, so... They can recover. Meaning that my mistake that almost turned into glory... Does not mean anything. And we almost did it twice. But anyways, with that being said... This is actually the final match of the tournament. And goddamn, you're dead. And goddamn, you're literally dead again. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and look at the final standings. I honestly thought that it was going to cut to another thing, so I'm over here just more concerned about um, making sure this doesn't go to another video, when in reality, it didn't at all, and instead, me just not cutting out the, the thing long enough for me to get my Chromebook out. No, let's just not cut it out at all. Let's just, like, boom, we're going to do this. We're, we're doing it. All right, here, here we are. Here we are. Okay. So, let's just... Okay. I, I sort of remember when the tiebreakers take place. Well, I can actually just look and see how many points naturally and just do that, but... Anyway, shockingly enough, Joker goes from getting completely, um... Second place, just a very good performance in the first one. Goes 4-6, and six, not even a winning record this time. Went from 10-0 and 0 to 4-6 and six and got dead last, so my Joker's definitely not good anymore. Cloud got 20th with literally the same point value, just had a better record. Um, Korn did terrible as always. Ike didn't do that good. Sephiroth didn't do that good. Diddy Kong, for how much experience they have, didn't do that good. Falco did not good at all, honestly. Like, Falco should have been at least top 10, but it, it was a bad session for Falco. Literally lost a Bowser fucking junior of all characters and a tiebreaker. Byleth got 13th place. Um, We're actually hanging into the 7 and 3 records now. Um, Let's see. Um, Sora got 12th. Donkey Kong got 11th, Dark Samus got 10th, so Dark Samus essentially beat Donkey Kong in a tiebreaker. Sonic ended up getting 9th, so my main did get top 10 this time, 8-2 and two is not that bad of a record, but again, still, I feel like I should be doing better with my fucking main, 
in these tournaments. Um, Link got 8th. Luigi got 7th. Rob got 6th. Jigglypuff got 5th. Oh, we're seeing some 9-in-1s now. Bowser, of all people, got 4th place. Super good performance from Bowser. Piranha Plant got 3rd, again. Pyramifra in 2nd. And King K. Rule wins the entire thing. King K. Rule literally got 1st place in the last one. Is going to get 1st place in this one. And it's coming off of a tiebreaker also, once again. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. You know, next sub goal is 500. So, you know, we got to start from where we're at, which is currently 202 in order to get there. So, you know, become the 203 or the 204 or the 20 whatever. You know, be the next one to subscribe. And also, be sure to follow my Instagram link in the description. And also, be sure to cash at me. Because I am not monetized. I do not get paid for my videos. Considering I don't have a following. And also don't get views. But we don't talk about that. But you know. My cash app is always open. For money to be sent. So yeah. Um, and with that being said. I love you guys all so much. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. I'm out. Peace.